Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a digital planner on Canva with hyperlinks. Now, you're going to click on create design and at the bottom you're going to see custom size. Today's size we're going to be using is the US letter size, which is 9.5 and 11 as the height. But we're going to add, add an inch to our height because we're creating a border for our planner. So you're going to put 9.5 and then you're going to put 12 as the height and then you're going to change the pixels into inches and then hit create design. Okay, so you should see a white page in front of you. So I did this with you guys. For some reason, the rulers was already on my, um, my page or whatever. So I decided to do it guys so you guys can see. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on file and you're going to click on view settings and then you're going to click on show margins and rulers now you're going to drag a line from the ruler at the top and you're going to get an inch you're, you're going to bring down an inch that's it it should be like a little space and then the same as the bottom you're going to do the same for the size what you're going to do is drag from the left and drag it all the way to the right So this is us creating our border because we are going to need guidelines as we are putting in our squares, our images, and everything like that. This is going to give us a clear view of where our image is going to be. Next, you're going to click on elements and you're going to click on the square and you're going to expand it inside of the borders. Next, you're going to click on elements and you're going to go in the search bar and you're going to type in wood. This is us creating a delusion as if the desk or a table is under our planner, as if our planner is sitting on top of a desk or a table. You're going to expand it over the whole entire page and you're going to hit position and then you're going to hit send backwards. Okay, so this is me being extra. You could choose to do this if you want to. I'm just putting on like some pins or something like that just to make it seem like more realistic. Um, you could skip it over because I'm gonna have timestamps in the description. But, um, yeah, you guys, I thought of adding some pins as if, you know how, like, you have pins by your notebook and stuff like that. I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible. So, yeah. Okay, so next you're going to go into elements and you're going to type in grid. Then you're going to click on the first square you see and you're going to expand it over the whole entire page. And if your grid did exactly what I my grid did, it um, was automatically behind the gray page. It's supposed to be on top. You're going to hit position and you're going to hit forward. And this is what your page should be looking like. 
to be more in detail, a grid is something that you can put an image in and it will automatically take up the whole entire space of the grid. So now this is our cover. We're going to put in elements. We're going to click on elements and you're going to pick whatever you want, like pink glitter, green glitter, um, island, whatever you want for your planner. And you're going to click on that image and drag it right in the middle of your grid. I decided to go with this pink marble. Um, I want like a pink marble love type of planner. And that's what I went with. And then as you see, I just put it inside of the grid. And this is what it should be looking like. Now we're going to create our spiral of the book. Of course, this is our spine which keeps our papers together. So we're going to go in elements and we're going to type in spiral binder. And then if you don't have Canva Pro, it is okay, girl. The free ones work good, too. Your girl just got Canva Pro two days ago. And I think I'm going to still go with the free one. I think the free one looks so much better. Um, because I tried this one, and it just wasn't, it wasn't going, y'all. So, I don't know. Once you click on your spiral, you're going to duplicate it all the way down to the book at the end. And then you're going to hit crop if you have access over the planner page. And you're going to scroll it all the way up to the end and you're going to hit done. Now it's time for our title. Of course, we're going to put any title that we want for our planner. I decided just to go with planner because it's a simple planner that I'm creating. And as you see, Canva has all types of fonts for you guys. Um, you can choose to choose that font or you can start from scratch and change your font, change your effect. My favorite effect is the shadow effect and the outline effect. But you can do whatever you want, y'all. This is just you being creative with your title. Now I'm going to hit duplicate and I'm going to, well the duplicate button is the two squares at the top of your page where it say page two. You're going to hit duplicate and that is your master copy just in case if you accidentally delete the first one. So that way you don't have to start all over. Actually, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the, um, the master copy also once we finish. But now we're going to get into creating our paper. We're going to create a paper shadow dimension of our planner to make it look even more realistic. I learned this method from a... Sorry, y'all. I'm outside. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm so sorry, y'all. Um, I learned this method from a YouTuber that I've watched. I'm going to put her YouTube down in the description below. I forgot her um, name or whatever, but she did so good. She came up with this idea of creating dimension inside of your planner. So that way your planner don't look like it's just flat and just sitting there it has some type of dimension it has some type of pages inside of it so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the square into elements and you're going to expand it over the planner then you're going to hit position and you're going to hit send to the back not backwards to the back and then you're not going to lose in touch with your page you're just going to start slightly giving an illusion as if the page is inside of the planner mostly you want it on the right side and the bottom side and if you need to get a little more of um a zoom they have a zoom analog at the bottom has zero points zero percent to a hundred percent and you can zoom in so you get a clearer view but yeah i thought this was really cool you can choose to do two pages if you want you can choose to do three pages just always send it to the back because if you send it backwards then it's not going to go all the it's not going to go to the back and it's not going to have the illusion as if several pages in there
I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I okay, so create to create even a more of a shadow dimension, you're going to start with the first page of being light a light gray and then a medium gray and then a darker gray not too dark so we're doing two shades down further down sorry if that makes sense so we're doing a light a light light gray and then a light gray and then like a darker light gray it don't have to be real dark it just has to have a little bit of a shadow i'm gonna put a little image in there so you guys can see You better on the first date I should've said what's wrong in the first place I don't cause you always taking it the wrong way You won't listen, you're too busy playing 2K I've always been down but I'm going to click on edit photo And then I'm going to click on shadows Shadows should be under the title of FX effects And then you can do whatever how much um, intensity, distance I believe they have um, blur also And we, more, we want more of the shadow at the bottom To bring more in depth of the planner That's you, you was acting I had to ask you if you had a few Cause you always say I gotta add it to it all Why you talking to me like you be like Why you always wanna be right Oh, I just need the time that you can't find I just need to know that it's still mine And the way that you can't say my name don't seem right But I know when to go and to stop at the clear light Oh, I just turned, just turned down your avenue I had to, but I'm mad at you, yeah You always say I got an attitude, oh that's you, you was acting rude I had to ask you if you had a few Cause you always say I got an attitude, oh So I'm the one that's out of place I'm the one that's in the way 
Okay, so you guys are going to go to the elements and you're going to type in shapes. Now, I do apologize. I should have used like the normal tab just so y'all can get an idea of it. But I was too busy in my creative mode and I picked the hearts. But you want to basically get in enough big shape for your text to be on. Not like a small shape. But like the old that you see at the bottom. That would be a good tab. The heart, as you can see, because it's enough room. You want a shape that has enough room. I am going to do a 12, I'm sorry, a 12 tab planner for you guys. And I'm going to actually use the tabs. I'm sorry about that, y'all, again. But I'm using the heart. And what I'm doing is I'm testing out the first one to make sure everything fits. And you want to make it as, um, precise as possible when it comes down to the sizes because you want to make sure that all six of the tabs fit on the planner and this is i'm just changing color doing the detail and then the way that you send the planner backwards to make it seem like it's inside the planner is you're going to send the tab back you're going to click the three dots that you see that pops up and you're going to hit layer and then you're going to hit send backwards and see how I'm telling you guys, you have to have a big enough shape for your text to be on so it can show and display. So now I'm just pulling it up to make sure. And then once you get to like the third tab, um, automatically when you press duplicate, it should just go down the row consistently lining up. You better on the first day I should've said what's wrong in the first place I don't cause you always taking it the wrong way You won't listen, you're too busy playing 2K I've always been down but you still sleep and even though I said it now you should've been pee I feel it in my soul, yeah, it's so deep So deep, you should know that about me I just turned, just turned down your avenue I had to, but I'm mad at you Always say I got an attitude, oh Yeah, but that's you, you was acting rude I had to ask you if you had a few Cause you always say I got an attitude, oh Why you talking to me like you be like Why you always wanna be right? Oh, I just need the time that you can't find I just need to know that it's still mine and the way that you can't say my name don't seem right But I know when to go and to stop at the green light Oh, I just turned, just turned on your avenue I had to, but I'm mad at you, yeah You always say I got an attitude, oh Yeah, but that's you, you was acting rude I had to ask you if you had a few Always say I got an attitude, oh So I'm the one that's out of place I'm the one that's in no way I don't communicate I'm so spoiled So I'm the one that need a break Like you ain't stay in my place But you the one who came home late Okay, you guys, so when you put your text on the tabs, you want to make sure that it is on the tabs to when you send it backwards, it's there. Because if you put your your text too small, the reader won't be able, to, the person that's buying it won't be able to see it. So you want to make sure that you put the text in a 90 degree angle and put it to where they would see it when you send the tab backwards.
Why you talking to me like you be like? Why you always wanna be like? Oh, I just need the time that you can find. I just need to know that it's still mine. And the way that you can't say my name don't seem right. But I know when it's going to stop at the midnight. Oh, I just turned, just turned down your avenue. I had to, but I'm mad at you. Always say I got an attitude, oh Yeah, but that's you, you was acting rude I had to ask you if you had a few Because you always say I got an attitude, oh So I'm the one that's out of place I'm the one that's in the way I don't communicate I'm so sorry Okay, the next step, we're almost done, you guys. So, we're going to hit the four squares that you see at the bottom next to the analog. And you're going to click that, and that will be your grid view. This will show all your pages of all the pages that you duplicated, all the pages that you worked on. It just gives you a better view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this six, time, six times because I'm doing six months. And this will be my six dividers. Okay, so I have a total of eight pages. Now I'm about to start with my January divider. So all you have to do is change the text. So we're taking off the planner and we're changing it into January. I decided to go with the same font, but add an effect to it to make it even more bolder. But I want to kind of like a consistency type of theme with my planner. So I just did January kept the six months at the top and i'm going to add an affirmation with a heart because i have heart tabs and then i'm going to change the name of my page because we're going to need this during hyperlinking time so then you're going to simply click on that january tab and you're going to send the january tab forward now if you don't remember i'm gonna explain it to you guys so you're gonna click on the tab you're gonna hit position and you're gonna hit send forward. Once your tab is sent forward, you can change the color. It makes it more as if you're using the tab. It makes it more realistic as if you're using the divider that you're using. So again, send forward, you're gonna hit position, hit send forward, and then you can change the color if you want to, or you can add an outline to make it look like you're actually using the January tab. Talking to me like you be like, why you always wanna be like? Oh, I just need the time that you can't find. I just need to know that it's still mine. And the way that you can't say my name don't seem right. But I know when it's going to stop at the midnight. Oh, I just turned, just turned on your avenue. I had to, but I'm mad at you. Always say I got an attitude, oh Yeah, but that's you, you was acting rude I had to ask you if you had a few Cause you always say I got an attitude, oh So I'm the one that's out of place I'm the one that's in no way I don't communicate I'm so spoiled 
You better on the first date I should have said what's wrong in the first place I don't cause you always taking me the wrong way You won't listen, you're too busy playing 2K I've always been down but you still sleep Even though I said it now you should have been You guys, so now we're going to duplicate our January divider And we're going to click on that second January divider that we just duplicated and we're going to remove all the text, all the images that you put on your cover for your divider. And this is what you should see. You just your January tab out. Then you're going to go to lines and shapes on elements and you're going to click on the square. Change that gray square into a white square. This is like your sheet of paper. And you're going to expand it over the planner. Just like that. Be careful not to touch your borders. And this is what it should be looking like. So now, so now you're going to send your paper backwards so it looks like it's inside of the planner springs, prongs on the side that we have on our book. And sometimes you might have to hit it like three times. You have to hit click it three times but make sure that the tab is in front and the prongs is inside of the paper that is what we're looking for now you're going to go into elements and you're going to sorry y'all this is me being extra i'm just being extra right now y'all i'm trying to make it look more realistic but it wasn't working but now we're going to go into elements and we're going to click on lines and shapes and go and, and click the line element once we click the line element we're going to put it right into the far top of the middle and what I love about Canva it guides you for the center it guides you throughout of you creating whatever you're creating on your Canva Then I'm going to lose a bit of weight onto that line because it is looking a little too thick. I want to make it look it look very realistic. So we're going to go down to like three or four. And then I'm going to change the color into gray. Once I do that, I'm going to duplicate the line and I'm going to put it right under one finger length under the first line. Because you want to give them enough space for them to write on each line. once you do that you're going to duplicate it throughout going down and the way that we're going to make sure that all of these lines are lined up you're going to click on the first line and you're going to hold down shift and you're going to click down every line that you created and you're going to hit position and at the bottom it should say tidy up on your left hand side of your screen so now we're going to create our other pages now that you created your page your line your first line page you're just going to duplicate on how many pages you want so i decided to go with six pages in each divider so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate the page that i just created six times and i'm going to do an extra copy just to drag that copy over the next divider and you're going to do it throughout the whole entire month dividers that you do now you're just going to click on that line paper and you're going to drag it to the next month divider which is february now you're going to click on the february divider and you're going to change planner into february 
you're just doing the exact same thing you did for January. You're gonna change the title. You're going to do whatever you wanna do on your cover for your February. Then you're going to make sure that you bring that February tab up by hitting layer and forward. And if you're changing the color of your tab, you do the same thing as you did for January. Then you're going to change the name of your page and follow up from there. Get a receipt, my brother. Look, 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 she bending over. Claude Hammers. The Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. Excuse me, brother. Miss Parker! Miss Parker! I told you. Told you. Me, we be letting you know. Evil lurks. Look at me, where she wanna be. Call me Ficky T on the leash. I feel like a dog. I can't have the flea. Keep it pee. Never needed you, but you needed me. I got cream. This is the method on how to do it. I'm going to just let y'all um, watch how I do it. Basically, you're going to duplicate the pages that you did for February. And you're going to do the six pages or seven pages, whatever amount that you've done. And you're going to do the exact same thing for March and then so on and so on. If you need to go back to January step by step and learn step by step, you can go right back to the January divider um just by scrolling back on the youtube video but i'm gonna just let y'all see throughout me doing this and i'm gonna get back to y'all when we get to the next part Push a T, 
see, my brother. Look, 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 she bending over. Claude, have mercy. The Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. Excuse me, brother. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. I talk told to you, the wee be letting you know. Evil lurks. Look at me, where she wanna be. Call me Freaky T on the leash. I feel like a dog. I can't help the flee. Keep it pee. Never needed you, but you needed me. I got cream. Make up pretty clean. Boost your self esteem. I, I get tucked in the road, so I feel like Baby King. Cause it's black, it's the boss for it, so I dress like Baby D. Put your coat, pussy ass, and now you know it's giving cream. I got hope when it's not. Just for a hundred bands. What? 
I don't even got me a hundred pieces. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. Give me that so extend up. I carry bitches like a prego. We don't run with nigga called Pedro. Suck it, nigga. Shoulda knew it from the get go. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Okay, y'all, so remember this master copy that we have? I'm just gonna drag that master copy all the way at the bottom, and we're gonna make it seem like the planner had closed. So, you know how when you close a book, the spine of the book is on the right, and then when you no, I said that wrong. When you close a book, the spine of the book is on the left. We're going to make our spine of our book on to the right to make it seem like you close the planner. We want to make this as realistic as possible. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that again. I feel like the more creative you be, the more effort you put in, the more of a better result you're going to get. So we're going to take the text off of our master copy. Drag out lace and take the text off our master copy, and we're going to rotate it in a 180 degree, and we're going to bring our prongs on to the other side. To get a receipt, my brother. Look, 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 she bending over. Claude, have mercy. The Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. Excuse me, brother. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. I told you. Me, the wee be letting you know. Evil lurks. Look at me, where she wanna be. Call me Ficky T. Off the leash, I feel like a dog. I can't help the flee. Keep it pee. Never needed you, but you needed me. I got cream, make up bitty clean. So now this is why I told you to change your names of your pages. You're going to start with the January tab. You're going to click on the three dots and you're going to go scroll all the way down to see the link. Once you do that, you're going to scroll down to the divider that you see um, that it says January divider on the pages. And you're going to click on that. And you're going to hit done. So this is linking. Whenever you click on this tab, this is linking that to the divider that you created for January. And you're going to do so on and so on. And the reason why I said to change the name of your pages is so that it'd be so much easier for you to just click on the link and know what page to actually link it to. See, I got you, boo. Don't 
I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue bitch. You just want to send me automatic with a drum. Ask me if I'm finished now, nah, I'm just begun. I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun. Are you dumb? Uh uh. Real man, I don't know no other man. Like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands. What? I don't even got me a hundred bands. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. Give me that so extend up. I carry just like a pack up. Hit a run with nigga call. done okay we are done congratulations on your first planet that you create created i hope you create more this is the final results now as you can see i'm gonna show you guys once i click the tab it was a little different i ain't going to lie y'all because it was acting right and my internet was lacking but once you click the tab it's going automatically to your divider okay so that is how you create a digital planner and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i want to tell y'all digital products is coming in y'all y'all can use this as a side hustle scare money don't make no money if you want to start a digital product business go ahead because your girl is about to do that too i ain't afraid of no money we're gonna get this money okay and this is also going to help all the girls to stay organized and stay consistent with whatever they got for being productive in a task and everything like that so yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give me feedback in the comments down below make sure you like comment and subscribe and come back for more love you guys bye also i forgot to include this once you download this you're going to download this into a pdf standard that way the person can be able to write and type on it and add stickers or whatever they want to do for your planner but now i'm out like but like i buy To my Timbo, clothes, no one ain't playing games, no Xbox, Nintendo. Real bitch, no force, I stand on it, that's ten toe. Pulled up with the big body with the dog tips on the window. He says she sucks sweet, they don't wanna let her rap up. Let them taste the f, then I keep them out right after. Got these niggas vex, cause I curve them when I want. Get his wig, push back, if the nigga try to fun. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Just say it. Been no pay. Uh, 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 uh. My hitters don't pay with it.